to my crypto bit brothers and sisters. Here we are at the famous Chow Place <laughs> in Utah. And uh, Ron and I are going to make another video here with the um, Ripple, I think, right? What's happening on Ripple. So I think it's going to be exciting. The Ripple has been, it's, what, it's up to... 26, 26 cents, 27 cents, cent? yeah, something like that. Pretty freaking high, man. Yeah, it's pretty jumped up. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, why. how lucky are you guys to be going to lunch with the Crypto Bit Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already chowed down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Ripple's been going up, so we thought we'd better uh, talk about that a little bit. But before we get into it, um, let's make sure we have an understanding of Ripple. Okay. So to do that, we got to go back to Bitcoin. All right. Bitcoin, their, their, I don't want to say their ultimate goal was, but their purpose was to come in and decentralize everything and actually replace our current banking system with a digital banking system. Yeah. Peer to peer. And uh, Ripple came along and, uh, of course, the banks aren't going to lay down for this. Ripple came along and offered some software or some kind of platform program to the banks so they could also do cross-border transactions in the Quick, matter quickly and then more efficiently and more cost-effective a lot less expensive yeah and uh, then they came up with uh, what they called the inner ledger and we did a video on the inner ledger yeah. it's pretty interesting stuff but they 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 could send like US dollars and come out in British pounds and cross over seven blockchains to do that in the matter of just a few minutes yeah. and low costs. Makes it a lot um, better. So this interchange was interesting because you can exchange fiat or any kind of coin, asset or coin mm -hmm. into different ones and come out the other end. Right. Now if you look at our current banking system and I think uh, you know, we're mainly involved with SWIFT. You've heard of them. Yeah. SWIFT kind of has 11,000 banks signed up to use their platform or structure. Right. Wells Fargo and uh, is one of them looking at it, experimenting with it right now. Right? With SWIFT? Uh-huh. Well, SWIFT's been around a lot of years already. Has it? But they do have a new thing that they are experimenting with. And it's a blockchain technology. It's called. Um, I thought it was Swift. No, Swift. Swift. And maybe I'm getting maybe I'm getting ahead of us too. Um, I want to explain first what the banks do. So the banks okay, sorry. keep cure. No, good brother. <laughs> I like it when you interject. So banks keep currency worldwide. So when they have to do these wire transfers. They have that currency out there. So the bank isn't real liquid based on that because they've got all this money out there. So Ripple's coming along and say, hey, we can provide you with liquidity. Pull all those dollars home and exchange these, use the XRP. Now we're talking about billions of dollars in storage for when they do transfer money, they would have it on hand instead of... In that various cause, currency. Yeah, instead of causing them to have to postpone anything they have it so they can give right. you that so they have billions of dollars talking about all the banks together tied up in this uh, holding fund that each bank has with this cash that's exactly right yeah and and it becomes well and it still takes two or three days to oh, yeah. wire money oh, somewhere yeah. it does because of the ledger system all yeah. of it's got to be accounted for and it's an accounting system so ripple comes on the scene says hey we can make you liquid, bring all that money home, put it into other things, and use XRP to send this money. That's what it is, XRP, that they're experimenting with. You're right, it is XRP. Yeah, and in April, yeah. Ripple, over in Europe somewhere, London, they had this big experimentation yes, going across seven blockchains with various currencies, and it all proved well. Well, several banks have signed up with Ripple yeah. to do this. Um, as a matter of fact, I think in Japan, 40% of all the banks, so Ripple comes on the scene, 
lays out their platform, says we can help you banks. Well, now you got Swift that's that's tied up with 11,000 banks. Well, again, they're just not going to lay down and take this. No. So they they are experimenting with a patch blockchain. It's something patch blockchain, and uh, experimenting with that. Santander is one of them that signed up on this. Oh. And they have several of them that are working on it. But it hasn't come to fruition yet. They're still in the development stage. Well, Santander, one of the biggest banks in the world, has left SWIFT's patch blockchain and signed up with Ripple. Oh. Very positive. Wow. Now, here's something I just read about, too. Um, one of the... And I didn't bring his name. We're out to lunch. It's a foreign name, but he's one of the... One of the head honchos oh, yeah. was Swift. Yeah, I read about him. And he uh, <clears throat> he made some derogatory comments about blockchain technology, in the fact that he really didn't believe it's a long-term solution to any of this. So as I read his comments, I'm thinking, what? Has he not been reading the the papers or anything? <laughs> I mean, look at all the companies that are going to blockchain technology. Yeah. I've read Walmart is just now getting involved with it too. Oh, really? Oh, but out of the really top good. out of the top 50 companies in the world, half of them are working on blockchain technology right now. And what two did have to. Well, yeah, it's it's yes, two thirds of that half said that they will have blockchain instituted within their business by the end of 2018. Sure they will. So then you got this guy in Swift saying that he doesn't think blockchain has a long-term <laughs> long-term function or yeah. anything. So anyway, Ripple has really gone up the last couple three days. You know, back in May was its height, thirty-three cents, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. And uh, Rod and I luckily cashed out at thirty. We bought ours at three cents, so we ten times our money on that. Um, but but Ripple has got some long term. A couple more things on this. In banking industry, nothing happens overnight. Banking no. things just take time. Yep. And Even banking. When you try to get your loan, it takes time. Yeah, get a freaking mortgage. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> it's insane. So anyway, um, banking system likes, they don't like this volatility within the currency. They need kind of a stable currency. It makes their transactions easier and smoother. Sure. So Ripple, not that they can adjust that, but they, they want that stability for the bank's sake. So as far as XRP, everybody's waiting for it to jump to the moon and all that. <laughs> You know, XRP, the actual coin token, is different than the Ripple platform. Yes, I knew that. And Ripple was designed for this XRP to be intermixed. Intertwined, yeah. Yeah, intertwined and work smoothly on. But that doesn't mean that the banks have to use XRP on that Ripple blockchain. Right. Um, so there's a lot written about that, and if you guys want to get into that, you can kind of study that out. It's interesting. But the, the height, the last two or three days, well, just in the last 24 hours, do you know what a pair is? A pair is like I want to go from U.S. dollars to Ripple, or I want to go from Bitcoin to Ripple. That's, that's what they call a pair. Okay. In the last 24 hours... Um, 50% of the pair to Ripple has been in the Korean won. Oh, I didn't know that. Almost half of all the transactions in the last 24 hours have been in Korean won. Yeah. 70% of it, of all... Now, the Ripple did a billion dollars worth of transactions in one, the last 24 hours. Even though we love that split-screen deal. Yeah, yeah. It's got a five-minute five deal in it. Limit, yeah. Limit on the, on the video or something. And he's only got the newest Galaxy 23 XP <laughs> supersonic phone. 
me and gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, seventy percent of all these billion dollars that Ripple did in transactions yesterday came from three exchanges. Oh wow! Coin One. Coin One. China or it's over in the Korea, Asia somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Bit H U M P B Bit Hump. Bit, no? I don't know if I've heard of that. Anyway, and then uh, and and that one had like forty percent. Anyway, and then there was uh, one other. They had seventy percent, and the major trading pair was the Korean won. How about that? So because there was so much influx into that, it drove Ripple's price up. Wow. Um, and, and the Asians are just getting started, not just with Ripple, but this whole crypto thing. I don't know what they see in Ripple that they really like, but folks, I, I still think, and we have for a long time, if you if you want to make some money, Ripple's a good, XRP's a good coin to get into. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. When we sold out, we kind of ventured into NEM and uh, a couple other things. Neo. Neo. So anyway, folks, uh, that's that's been the, the hype of why Ripple has gone nuts these last two or three days. It's yeah. just been nuts over in Korea and Asia and China and everywhere. And uh, especially in the Far East, man, those guys like it. Yeah. It's okay. because I think there's I think their currency isn't very real real stable. I I don't know what it is. Well, you take China, which is in a trade war with the U.S. right now. Mm -hmm. At least that's the what's been said and and the Chinese here they they've got their savings accounts but as their yuan decreases in value their savings accounts decreases yeah so they get nervous they want to keep the value of their savings up so they look to invest in precious metals heavily into real estate yeah and those that know about it cryptocurrency and the more they get to know about it that's how big crypto is going to get Oh, wait, wait till somebody turns the light switch on to this thing. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. We, we are still in the dark. <laughs> oh, there's going to be just massive a flood into this. And so, folks, hey, thanks for watching our videos. I uh, well, hope we're giving you enough information to make it worthwhile for you. And have fun with it. Yeah. Well, you know, Ron, Ron and I have fun with it, I yeah, think. <laughs> we do. It's a, it's a fun little extra money to make. And... Well, into. some money. YouTube is. Well, we better uh, not get into no, that no, too no. heavy. I, but it, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube's good. <laughs> it Thanks, helps folks. us get to you. God bless.